together for contestant number three for the evening, Derek Mahan. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you today a man who I have loved and respected my entire life, Donald J. Trump. That's really nice. Thank you. And it's an honor to have everybody here. Ladies and gentlemen, I am officially running for President of the United States. And we are going to make our country great again. I will be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. I tell you that. Because there are no jobs. Because China has our jobs. And Mexico has our jobs. They all have our jobs. The U.S. has become a dumping ground for everybody else's problems. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And it's got to stop. And it's got to stop fast. A lot of us are really smart. I'm really smart. Went to the Wharton School of Finance, one of the hardest schools to get into. Did well at the school. Came out, made a fortune. Wrote a book called The Art of the Deal. Anybody ever hear of The Art of the Deal? Good. Bring it up. Come on. Give me that book. Nice guy. Should I sign it? Give me that book. We give steak dinners to the heads of China. I said, why are you doing steak dinners for them? Just take up the McDonald's and go back to the negotiating table. President Obama, Secretary Kerry, I highly think you should read this book quickly. People think I'm controversial, but the truth is, I mean, nice guy, I mean, nice guy, nice guy, I mean, nice guy, nice guy, I mean, nice guy. I couldn't care less. Nice guy, I mean, nice guy, nice guy, I mean, nice guy, nice guy, I mean, nice guy. I couldn't care less. It's been one week since you looked at me. Turned him to the side and said I'm angry. Five days since you laughed at me. Saying get back together, come back and see me. Three days since the living room. I realized it's all my fault, but couldn't tell you yesterday. You've forgiven me, but it'll still be two days till I say I'm sorry. Let me just tell you. I may win, I may not win. Hillary, that's not a president. That's not. She's not taking us to. Everything that's been involved in Hillary has been losses. You take a look. Even a race to Obama. She was going to beat Obama, and she got schlonged. She lost. I mean, she lost. It's disgusting. I don't want to talk about. It. No, it's too disgusting. Don't say it. it's disgusting. Let's not talk. We want to be very, very straight up, okay? But I thought that was wasn't that a weird deal? It's been you looked at me, threw your arms in the air and said you're crazy. Five days since you tackled me, I said that the red ones on both my knees. It's been three days since the afternoon. You realize it's not my fault, no one too soon. You should get me and forgive me. And now I'll sit back and wait till you say you're sorry. Obama is going to be out playing golf. He might even be on one of my courses. I would invite him. I actually would say. I have the best courses in the world, so I'd say, you know what? If you want to see, I have one right next to the White House. China, 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 I like China. I just sold an apartment for $15 million to somebody from China. I own a big chunk of the Bank of America building in 1290 Avenue of the Americas that I got from China in a war. I love China. The biggest bank in the world is from China. You know where their United States headquarters is located? In Trump Tower. I love China. People say, oh, you don't like China. No, I love them. I know. Excuse me, excuse me.
Congratulations, you've reached Donald Trump. This really needs your number. Hello, Barack. Well, you got the debate coming up this week, it's so... It's a big debate. It's huge. Well, I thought I'd give you a call and uh, give you some advice. I don't understand. Why would you want to help me become president? Look, I've been president for eight years. Uh, I'm ready for some entertainment. Okay, let me hit you with a, a sample debate question. Go ahead. Right, here we go. Now, how are you going to deal with immigration? Build a giant wall. Okay. Uh, what about the economy? Build a giant wall. Education? Wall. What's your uh, favorite Pink Floyd album? Dark Side of the Moon. You have to forgive me, I'm sorry. I, I, a little jet lagged. Uh, just got back from my trip to Kenya. My dentist was just out in Africa. No, no, he said no, he'd bring me no, back no, a souvenir. No, there, there you go again. You, you're just doing it. The, the internet's going to have a field day with you. You're going to wake up after the debate and, and, and everything you say is going to be auto-tuned. That's where you're wrong, Mr. President. The only way to handle these internet auto-tuners is to beat them to the punch. I'm going to put you on speaker. I've decided to auto-tune my entire debate. Check this out. Hillary Clinton was the worst secretary of state. That is so messed up. Do it again, do it again. Fine, fine. One more, but then i got to go. I don't care less. Couldn't care less.